July the 18th, 2023. Guys, you're looking at incredible images of our sun from yesterday and today. This is from the SDO satellite. It was a four-hour flare. It was the strongest flare of this solar cycle 25. We're starting to see it uh, continue to peak this 11.8 year cycle. And last week we saw the strongest filament release that I've seen uh, at least this solar cycle and uh, a few years back into solar cycle 24. But what happened here, this was not a filament release with the dark ribbons that you saw. This was a solar flare with a very powerful corona mass ejection. And guys, just to, it's hard to relate the size of the Earth to the sun. But I think it's about, if you took 100 and about 20 of our Earths and just lined them up across that picture if, to scale, that's how many it would take to go across there. Now, this is the full view of the same event looking at the whole sun. We've got two very powerful sunspots into the, in the top left of this image. Now, let's look at the same satellite, but it has 12 different cameras. This is called the Teal Filter. And it gives you a different perspective of the energy, but that flash that you saw is if again it would have been an x flare if the satellites or that flare had been facing the earth and it didn't get the satellites didn't get a glancing blow of the energy but right there you can tell that's your classic x flare features and you can see the uh, plasma radiate out from this but guys when we look at this on the soho which we're about to do different satellite here watch this this starts back on the 15th so it's going to go through up until now and you're seeing activity pick up we've been seeing that for the last few months uh, get stronger and stronger there's one on the 15th and last night at midnight we got one that left on the 14th it was a weak one i'm not sure about the aurora report but we did see a 5.7 down uh in mexico along the uh, san andreas fault ring of fire excuse me but uh guys um uh, there's a comet coming in right there and where it dives into the sun is where this powerful uh, flare comes from now you're looking at again a different satellite it, this one has the disk over the sun so you can see the features around it if not it would be too bright to see the space around it again the 17th notice your time stamp and as we get closer and closer to where we're at now on the 18th you're going to see some amazing images as a matter of fact, the satellites are going to start picking up energized particles, and we haven't seen that at all of this solar cycle. Look at that. Now, see all of these white energetic particles? They are blown out towards the satellite. Uh, in this case, again, the SOHO LASCO C2 and C3. But uh, amazing. Now, look, this is where they were de uh, detecting the flare called the solar flare detection. Right there... Um, you can see the long section right there and it tells you how long that flare lasted at least four hours and the peak is cut out of the thing right there the red line would be x flare if you notice on your left but again it was a side glance of our satellites but we're not going to get a too much of a side glancing blow from this coronal mass ejection because it fully haloed the sun but right there notice the u.s in mexico that's where the ionization in the atmosphere occurred from the flare also notice we have a 20% chance of X flares. Here's the culprit, but these two, 3372 and 3373, they're showing multiple colors. They're different magnetic polarities, and that's what causes the arcing, like from hot to ground for these solar flares and the CMEs. But let's take a look at what they're tracking now compared to the uh, CME that we saw come in last night. Check that out. That's huge, massive, and it was a full halo event around the sun but again it's to the right but notice the yellow dot right there and on the 18th uh, at 1800 hours excuse me on the 19th tomorrow which is at noon eastern time we will be directly sun facing again now the solar wind speed is going to be picking up as this comes in and there's a link on our website at bpearthwatch.com called spaceweather.com on the bottom left click there and on the top left you'll see the solar wind speed coming from the satellite information now here is going back to Lasco, but a different uh, camera called C3. It's a much wider view than the red camera. Right here where it's paused, you can see what I was talking about, about the halo effect. This thing blasted up, out to the sides, round to the bottom, and look 
uh, at the section right here in the bottom quadrant where the flare came out these two proton plasma rods guys check that out it's amazing the energy that's what you would if you had something like that hit the uh planet that's what i think it was uh ed danes that talked about a keel shot let's don't have one of those anytime soon but uh, we know that there's going to be some heat involved we've been up to it's 110 now here it has been up to 111 real field but when we talk about the biblical aspects of that fervent heat that takes out all the negative things on earth burns everything up this could have a lot to do with it guys before it's over and done with again malachi chapter 4 read it we're watching this you watch it it's a heads up be safe